This is the cable adjustment and fulcrum lever installation of the three-speed rotary shifted hub. With your hub, you should have got a packet with axle nuts and non-turn washers, a sprocket and clip, and the appropriate fulcrum lever. There should have been some instructions that came with it. And uh, if you don't have the instructions, they are available online uh, on StermyArcher.com. Also in the 2016-17 catalog on page number 19, there is a chart showing which non-turn washer and fulcrum lever to use with your particular type of dropout. There are three types of dropouts. We have reversed or track style, vertical, and then what we call standard or horizontal. It says angled here, but that just means typical forward-facing horizontal dropouts. For the three-speed, the cable adjustment for the rotary shift three-speeds is 140 millimeters. Measure from the tip of the ferrule, making sure that the ferrules are seated, to the inside face of the cable anchor. It should be exactly 140 millimeters. It helps if you tighten this a little tighter than finger tight or just finger tight so that when you slide it around it stays put. So there's 140 millimeters. This should be in the, the adjuster should be in the middle. Do not measure to the adjuster. And then tighten the anchor to three newton meters. This is a very small threaded bolt. Don't tighten it that tight, but you need to have it snug so it doesn't move. Then select the appropriate fulcrum lever. This one is for vertical dropouts or track style dropouts or re reversed end dropouts. And this one with the angle is for standard forward facing dropouts. These are the corresponding non-turn washers you will use. This is for vertical dropouts or track style and this is for traditional horizontal dropouts. After you determine which fulcrum lever you need, install it to the hub. The horizontal version has a small tab on it which is designed to be a tool to rotate the shift actuator. There are tabs on the shift actuator and the shift actuator must be rotated in a clockwise direction as far as it will go. So I'm using a screwdriver here, or you can use this little tab to rotate the shift actuator fully clockwise. Then the plastic tabs on the bottom of the fulcrum lever will engage into the middle of those tabs on the shift actuator. Install the lock nut and torque it to 8.5 newton meters. And your shift actuator should work just fine. And then install the cable anchor into the hook on the cable drum with the nut facing out. And wrap the cable around the cable drum and Gently pull out and insert the cable adjuster into the fulcrum lever. Then on the shift lever, shift into gear two and verify that the yellow arrow mark points directly in between the two little marks on the fulcrum lever. If it does not, use the adjuster to adjust it so that it hits right in between. And then test the shifter while pedaling the bike several times to verify that the yellow mark is still right in between and adjust as necessary.
Install the appropriate non-turn or anti-rotation washer. The vertical ones engage the dropout with the tab facing down. The horizontal or reverse dropouts engage the dropout with the tabs facing towards the opening. So for standard, it would be like this. And for reverse or track end dropouts, you would install it like this, facing backwards. Then install the axle nuts and torque them in the frame to 28 Newton meters. And you're done.